So in this segment of our show, we're going to get moving and grooving a little bit. Since we've been talking about energy, we're going to learn a little bit about centering, connecting, and grounding. First, though, you need to understand a little bit about pagans in general. Maybe you, need, maybe you need to know a lot about pagans in general, but I trust you will learn quite a bit in many different ways, including through your parents, their friends, maybe your grandparents and their friends, your coven or a group, if you belong to one, and the festivals you attend, maybe even a book or two. The truth of the matter is, is that there is rarely just one way to do something in the pagan faith and lifestyle. So no matter what you may learn on our show, you need to remember that there are probably quite a few other ways to do the same thing. And that's terrific. Isn't it wonderful having choices? Whenever you have a question about something you hear on our show, make sure to ask a grown-up you trust. Most are happy to answer your questions. So, on to centering. I want you to go ahead and stand up, please. And kind of shake a little bit to get loosened up. The first thing I want you to know is that when we're working with energy, you should have the right attitude. You should feel good. Sometimes people don't feel so very good when they uh, come into a circle or sacred space, but then they end up feeling good by the time the circle is opened again. But when you're first starting out, you should always take extra care to feel good about yourself and what you're doing. What we're doing today is some practice exercises to help you learn about energy and to get a feel for it. So we're going to start by singing a very short song that goes like this. I am happy, I am happy, yes I am, yes I am, every single day in every single way, yes I am, yes I am. Do it again, Carrie. Okay, I am happy, I am happy, yes I am, yes I am, every single day in every single way, yes I am, yes I am. There you go. Now shake your hands out a bit and rub them together. Not too hard, not too soft, not too fast, and not too slow. Okay, how about like this? There you go. Universal energy is all around us and inside of us too. What we want to do is to connect ourselves more firmly with the universe around us by raising our vibration. Use your imagination to tell the universe you are listening to it while you're rubbing your hands. There you go. You can read the screen while you're doing this. I am here and so are you. Now you say it. I ask your help in all I do. Your turn. I will listen to what you say. So please help me on my way. Very good. Okay. So pull your hands apart like this and pause for a moment. Now start bringing them slowly together. Can you feel any warmth between your hands? How about a little resistance, like maybe an invisible ball between your hands? If not, don't worry. The more you practice this small exercise, the easier it will be to feel the energy between your hands. Now bring your hands all the way together until your palms are touching each other. All right, now put your hands on the side of your head Make sure not to cover your ears so you can still hear me. <laughs> what we're going to do in this part of the exercise is to find that special place inside each of us that we think of as ourselves. Can you find that part of inside of you that makes you feel special? Maybe it's a kind of a light, or maybe it's a tiny person that looks like you or feels like you. Maybe you've never tried to do this before, and it's the first time you've tried to find that special place inside of you that feels like it's you. That's okay. That special place is probably not, I will tell you, in your feet or your knees or your elbows, okay? It might be in your hands or your heart or even in your head. If you can't find it, that place that feels like it's your awareness, then imagine a light inside of your head. It can be any color you like. Can you feel it? Can you feel that light inside your head? Can you see it? Can you imagine it? Now take your arm, your hands down and do this. Not too slow and not too fast. At just the right speed. In your mind, bring that light 
or that special feeling you found, created, or imagined to the spot in the middle of your chest. Imagine moving it to the center of your chest or your solar plexus, that place where you're touching right now. What we're doing is called centering. We're bringing our awareness to our center. That makes sense, right? Centering? When you're working alone or meditating, you can feel free to leave that special place or awareness of yourself wherever it usually is. You can center, but you don't have to. Many people do this all the time, whenever they raise energy or when they enter sacred space. Keep moving your arms. I just have to turn the page. But when you're working with others and raising energy, you center yourself in order to feel more connected to the others. It's often easier to connect with others when you're all centered in the same place. The whole point of working together is to be able to raise the energy more easily and more powerfully. So I want you to say, repeat after me, okay? I am centered and I'm ready. Now you say it. I am centered and I'm steady. I see the light inside of me. Won't you connect with me? Now, while I'm telling you about this next part, we're going to put our hands to our sides but we're going to keep opening and closing our hands so we can keep our energy flowing. Connecting is tapping into a source of energy. Most of the time it's earth energy that we tap into. The planet, you must remember, is a living creature, immensely powerful with much more energy than we can ever, ever use. When using energy, um, use the earth's energy instead of your own. Draw it up from below or draw it down from above. Either way, it's still earth energy, and we can tap into it many different ways. When you're working with a group of people, especially in a big circle, the high priestess or high priest, or whoever is in charge of doing the ritual or raising the energy, might just tell you to connect and expect you to know how to do it. Other times, they might lead you through a guided meditation to help you connect. If that's the case, then just follow their instructions so that everyone in the circle raises energy in the same way. But when you're alone or you're in a circle and they just tell you to connect without t giving you any instructions, here's one way to do that. Start at the center or your solar plexus where you place that light or awareness of yourself and use your imagination to reach down the length of your body. Can you feel the light at your solar plexus pulsing a little bit? Let's recenter for a moment to make sure we're still ready. Put your hands on the side of your head and move your light or your awareness of yourself to the center of your chest. Remember, see it, feel it, know that you are centered and steady. Let's move our arms a little bit again, just a little bit slow to make sure we're centered. Now this time, I want you to say it with me, okay? I am centered and I'm ready. I am centered and I'm steady. I see the light inside of me. Won't you connect with me? Very good. Now hold your hands over that light, that feeling, that special place in the center of your chest and imagine that you are pushing it down through your body into the ground under you. Imagine tentacles or, or streams of light coming out the bottom of your feet and into the ground just like roots from a tree. Roots spread out, don't they? They go deep and wide to support the tree. Use your intention and your imagination to push your roots deeper into the ground beneath you. It doesn't matter if you're in the house or outside or anywhere at all. It doesn't matter if you're standing on carpet, plastic, or wood, or if you have shoes on or not. That's the beauty of imagination and intention. You can make things happen with these awesome tools. Roots absorb or drink water from the ground, don't they? Do you understand how a sponge absorbs or drinks up water? Sure you do. The sponge gets filled up with water. And in this case, you are going to drink up or absorb the energy that's in the earth. 
not just the dirt, rocks, water, and minerals in the earth, but you're going to drink up the energy that is in the planet itself. When you shake someone's hand, you absorb some of their energy, and they absorb some of yours too. With your roots of light, or awareness, I want you to drink up some of the energy of the living planet. Sometimes, if you are very still when you are connecting, you can feel the heartbeat of the earth, of, mo of the mother. Not everyone will, every single time, but the more often you do these exercises, the more likely you will be to feel the heartbeat of the mother, of, of, the, of mother nature, of goddess. Okay, so now you've got your, your tentacles, your roots all the way into the ground, okay? And now I want you to suck up that energy into your roots and bring it up into your body. So, repeat after me. Make a sucking sound, do it with me, suck up that energy. Energy, energy, fill me up. Up and up just like a cup. Fill my feet and then my knees. Keep on going if you please. Fill my tummy, then my heart. That's the very best place to start. Are you sucking up that energy? Okay, pulse your hands again. This time right in front of you. Open and close them slowly. Make sure you hold that energy you brought up into your solar plexus. Many people will stop right here and feel very connected to the earth and nature and goddess. But we're going to go a little bit further. 